Good morning, everybody. It's a cold one. It's in the high 40s. It's pretty cold for here. Well, we got some work to do, to do today. Um, we got five loads of stone coming, 100 tons total. We got to finish working on the duck pond over there. I think you can see him tracking around in the background. We'll get check on it in a minute. And we got to run a culvert pipe from the duck pond to this pond. And if you're curious, the water levels are coming up about a half an inch a day. Let's go see what's going on. seen the first fish floating either. Means they're doing good. out the way check it out now we talked a little bit and uh, I'm gonna have them kind of pick up this edge a little bit pick up some of this dirt so while we can reach it it's a little muddy I just want to add a little bit more depth over here you can't really tell by camera but it's sloping like this so if we can take that down that'd be good the dam is patched over there Zoom in on it. We shoved a bunch of clay in it. Got a few more trees to take down probably. I'm gonna build it up some. The level in here is only gonna be up about another, about another two feet. And size-wise, it's about a quarter acre. It's not a whole lot of water. But we are gonna connect the two with the culvert pipe going through, 18 inch. And we're gonna have the water level in here Kind of higher than the pond, than the big pond. Just because from here over is like a sand dam. Um, so if anything were to fail on this pond, the main pond would not, would not feed it during a breach. You know, it wouldn't take the water level down and take off more dirt out, out of here. Um, I would completely clear this side neighbor's property is about a foot away from that fence he doesn't want to take the trees out but he might as well because he's already had a few fall on the fence before and uh every tree that falls on it he's gonna have to fix it so now's his time to do it and i'm paying so he wouldn't have wouldn't even have to worry about it well let's uh let's check back here in a little while see how things look I'll show you the ugly fence we're taking down. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a chain link, three rows of barbed wire. That's how I like to keep it here at the compound. Keeps the neighbors out. Well, so you can see it's got briars going all through it. And there's really no way I can get that out. I mean, I probably could, but it's a little, little mangled over here too. So I told Chris, just go ahead and just go ahead and grab that thing out the ground real quick clean up around it got to make it look pretty because this whole place is gorgeous it's all gorgeous until you get to right here I don't want to look at this and it gets gorgeous again so anyways he's moving more dirt from the uh, the gas station score over there He's saying it's pretty good clay. That's what I like to hear. So, 
I'll check on that in a little while. And there were some people wondering where the concrete came from from the dissipator pad. Well, there was an old concrete pad right here. You can see some remnants of it. It uh, it didn't really serve a purpose anymore. And it was only about two and a half inches thick, three inches. So it broke pretty easily. Um, so I told him go ahead and scoop that up. Got another concrete pad over there by the uh, TD9 bulldozer. That's probably a little bigger than this one was. So I don't know if we're going to use that for anything. But the mound of clay is disappearing. I told him just go ahead and use all of it if he wants to. Just build the whole bank up over there. Um, it's a lot of material. And the sand has been stockpiled over here. So I want to go ahead and let the water level come all the way up so I can see how things look. I'm going to go sit in a lawn chair every day for a couple days on a cove and brainstorm where I want to beach. So after I do that long enough and I got my mind made up, I'm going to come over here with Bam Bam and move some of this beautiful dirt. Well, beautiful sand. It's essentially beach sand. It's not the hard pack stuff that was on the sides, I don't believe. There might be a little bit in there, but mostly. It's just like going to the beach. Ooh, beautiful. So, beaches are coming. That's right. Just gotta figure out where they go. And check out this pile placement. Look how nice and even they are. There's two rows. You can probably guess who did that. Yep, that's right. I did. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's go find something to do. This is going to be fun. Got a lot to burn. It's a tall and long pile. This is mostly uh, some trees and brush, limbs. All oh, these are like logs and stumps. Took up all these stumps. They're all out here. We got some big monstrous trees here. I pulled those up, put them aside for something, thinking I was going to use them. I don't know. Still might. Nice looking logs. And then we have the silt that was in the pond that's going to be used for topsoil so this place is looking like a material site got topsoil sand clay got rock over there tree debris got a lot of work to do got a lot of work to do a lot of burning well in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and get this area cleaned up that's a pvc pipe Bunch of metal stuff from the previous homeowner. They uh, kind of trashed the whole place. So let's get that cleaned up. So maybe Chris can clean up around here. That's the only uh, other unsightly thing besides the fence. Just a little section around the building. So let's get add this to our metal pile. Everybody usually always passes this driveway. Pretty sure I just saw the dump truck. Yeah, right here, right here, right here, right here. Yep, he about missed it again. Glad I came up here to wave him down. Everybody always misses it. He drove past it, now he's about to drive past it again. Let's get him dumped.
taking it. is here. That is a nice truck. He was being real careful coming through there. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that truck's only like a month old. Oh uh, man. It turns like a bus stick. Stops pretty good. It he, stops pretty good. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a with him. He's like, he's like, I was messing with my GPS, drove right past it. Then somebody called me. I was like, I'm about to drove past it again. Oh man. Yeah, I saw him and I was like, hey, he was like, oh, he's like, burr, burr, burr. <laughs> good break. Yep, those axles were hopping. <laughs> Twenty tons. Got four oh, more. Well, well, this is cleaning up nicely. It's gone a little above and beyond. It's looking great. You can see all that clay that brought in over there. That whole that whole pile from the, uh, the gas station donation is gone now. Let's go check it out over there. Looks like he's done hauling dirt for a little bit. I just had to talk to my neighbor. He said, it is looking good. He's been here since the early 70s. And he's been wanting to see this fix for the past you know, five or 10 years. It's the whole property cleaned up. Good. We ended up having to take some of the uh, smear some of the cattails around. Left some over there. And look at all of this clay. That is what I'm talking about. Got it all fixed. Neighbor's not gonna have to worry anymore about water going over here on his side. So, 
He should be happy. I'm happy. Sure wish he'd let me take down these trees though. If we could take those trees down right there, it would be a nice, just a nice even grade all the way down. Old duck pond coming together. like he's doing the finishing touches on it. He's probably going to come back through here and grade this off or smack it in with a bucket, one of the two. Oh, it's going to look good. Everything else does. We're still waiting on two trucks to come with a rock. I got three so far. We need some rock. Got the fence smashed down in here. Just gonna pluck it out. Clean this ledge up right here. It's looking good. All right, well. So uh, let's see how things look in a little while. It's looking good so far. All right. Well, we got 103 tons of rock sitting here, five loads, and it is going on the face of the dam. First, uh, we got to lay out some landscape fabric, or whatever kind of fabric you put under the rock. Um, looks like he's over there about to dig a hole, dig the, tent, blah, 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 dig the trench for the pipe. Um, let's go check that out. He's checking the grade. We want the bottom of the pipe at the top of the water. Problem with this pipe coming up above the water level over there. So if there's ever an issue over here, I think I'd explain this with the sand dam, then the big pond, big lake, will not feed the small pond and go out. So that's how I want it, so that's how we're gonna do it. Looking good. We got 107 tons of rock. 107, okay, I said 103. So we got... Well, the, the bigger truck can haul 23 tons, so they they bring that. Okay. They get paid by the tons, so they... Oh, they max it out, yeah. They <laughs> <laughs> can fill it up, yeah. Oh. Just a little bit more, but you couldn't get another seven tons for... Well, they yeah. can for bringing it. Then. Might as well. Here's what it is. Looks like a checking grade for the. Pipe. Yep, this one's going to be a foot higher than that pond. Okay. And that puts it right there at the base of those trees where it was. So. All right, that'll be great. Yeah. Put as much over here as we can. So. Hell yeah. Well, let's fill it up. What's that? Cuss. Hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> gotta edit that part out. Right. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's fine. Yep. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, sounds good. It looks good. Has he come over at all? Over there. Time to start digging. Nothing but sand.
problem if I pointed it out the excavator. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> nice and easy on the machine, right? Uh, uh, I thought you were going to get it first time. No, the machine's in the way of the laser. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> somebody put the laser in the wrong spot. Uh, wonder who that was. He said somebody put the laser in the wrong spot. So I couldn't have cheated. <laughs> Uh, all right, who wants to bet he's got him the first try? That's gonna be a little bit high. Oh, just a, oh that's pretty close. <laughs> that's close enough. <laughs> I fixed it. Just like a little bit more. Yeah. This right right here though. Oh yeah. Dead on. Sand that holds water. I just thought. Oh gosh. What you got? Yeah. Uh, hyperphobic sand, I guess. I, <laughs> it was to this level yesterday. Yeah. And the only reason it's not is because I busted it. Yeah. So I'm guessing there will be no compacting around the pipe. <laughs> dump the sand back around it and that's going to be... Yeah. Well, with this type of pipe, it's not holding water. It gets up to the bottom and it goes through the pipe. Yeah. With that, you got to pack it because the water is, you know, 12 feet higher uh, than the pipe. So yeah. it's not really going to try to wash out around this one. I got a foot of fall between here and there. So I can All right. You're thinking that 50 some odd foot of pipe would work fine? Yeah. We got, I hope. We'll see. Yeah. If not, you can dig out the front some. Yeah. Front face. I'll probably start down here and wherever it works out. Well, no, I can't do that. I'm set my grade right there. I'll keep it flat for the first few feet in case I do it. All right. <laughs> Are you done at the end down here? Yeah. Are you done at the end right there? I was going to set a camera up right there. Uh, or no? One more pass. Okay.
Oh, you're ready for the blue, blue goo? After I, uh, let me put some dirt on some sand. Sand on the first hole in place. Yeah. Then the blue goo. Alrighty. You can take that home and your son can play with you. Won't <laughs> uh, that's smeared on everything. They do that enough with that slime stuff. <laughs> Golly. Oh, he's got the pipe laid. It's about 52 feet. Time to cover it up. For the blue goo. Blue goo time. Warm enough. Yeah, let's get a little toast. What, 40 something degrees this morning. I know. Chilly. Low 70s right now, probably. Mid 70s. Yeah, it is. Feels so weird back then. <laughs> yeah. No need to run the jumping jack on sand, is no, there? No, it's not really going to accomplish that. No. I mean, sand does pack, but it's not really going to go anywhere. Need a hand? I may pull them together. You might have to slightly pick up on when I go to push. Yep. I don't know why. 
high. It's a water-based stuff, but it will... Oh, that. <laughs> so there we go. Save that one. We can kind of... That one ain't going to pick up. Yeah, if you can... You've got a handle right there. I'll go down here on the other end. Hold on one second, there's some dirt. Alright. Start? Yep. Okay. Just let me know when it gets to... I don't know if there's a home written on there or not. There is right there. there. Get it home. Y'all right, holler. You there? I'm going to go do that one over there. here it's not too important. It really is. <laughs> it's it's just real. a straight flow through the it's, it's probably just gonna go through the sand. I, I don't know. I don't it's for extra precaution. Extra precaution. Yep. It's a big pipe for a little quarter acre pond. If that well evidently so. a lot of water goes through there. Yeah. For can. <laughs> In yeah. 1976. Yeah, 1976. It happened. Where's your brush when you need it? I know. <laughs> oh. Booby trapped me. Yeah, sorry about that. Welcome to the compound. Welcome what happened to the compound? It's all right. We're going to shake hands after this. <laughs> Just take the glove off. <laughs> no. Yeah. I got sand in my goo. Oh, no. I got more sand in my goo. Don't you Just... hate it when that happens? Yeah. We're just gonna have sandy goo. Yeah. Hate it when that happens when you're laying pipe, you get sandy goo on it. That's what happens. You'll get that on these big jobs, I heard. Yep. Oh, I got it on my pants <laughs> oh, too. No. What did I just tell you about this stuff? Yeah. Don't get it on your pants. I got it on my hoodie too, a little bit. Did you? Yeah. These are my good pants. They look. I, nice. I got concrete on the first day I wore them. Oh man. So they're not, they're not your good pants. Nope. Though. I used them approximately one day. Oh, this one's lighter. It's only half. Got it. There you go. All right. Time to push them together. Chris actually let me drive the Yanmar. He let me move it 10 feet. <laughs> got to back it out of the garage. Yep. Got to back it out. There you go. Yep. yep. Now he wouldn't let me run his 350. He said that was his baby and nobody else has sat in it but him. So I tried.
take a look through the pipes. Well, that's a neat, that's a cool sound. Get ready. It's 52 feet. Well, we're gonna keep on working on this. This isn't too exciting. I'm gonna cover it up. Then run the bulldozer over it. Clean it up. Put y'all on a time lapse. Well, the pond is looking really good. The little quarter acre duck pond. But, got to thinking, now would be the best time to dredge it. And leave some of the cattails on the end over there. Because really it's just filling up with silt. We were talking about it. So, I told Chris to go ahead and poke around out there, see how it feels. And lo and behold, here's Chris. trying to see what the bottom feels like. It's pretty good right there. Pretty good right there. It's pretty solid. soft over there. Uh, okay, <laughs> he said he can get all the way to right there. We ended up breaking two mats. The other two he already took back. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ponder on this. Might end up dredging just all the mud and where the cattails are up to where he just said, so about half the pond. He's gonna come on over here and feel around now. him to go ahead and dig a little hole for the pump just in case. Digging a little flat spot so I can put the pump there. See how she feels. Oh, he's digging out on spot for the hole. Spot for the uh, intake on the pump. Uh, it's in there pretty good. All it is is sand. Taking a little channel so everything drains down. And there are no fish in here. There shouldn't be any. He 
So that should do it. Toss the intake right there. Okay. He's gonna go check for a, tough, a couple little tough spots. So. I think that's what he said. We're gonna end up notching this right here, most likely, if I get him to dredge it. I think, I think I'm going to. Now's the time. We'll probably end up cutting this out right here. Your spot for the truck. And uh, we're just gonna dump it all out there. I gotta think about this. It's one of those things where you kinda don't wanna do it, but now's the time to do it. So I'm gonna ponder on it. There's a power line right there, he's gotta be careful of. Let's go see what he thinks. What do you think? Solid. Yeah, seemed like it was. Yep. It's really not much silt there. It just wasn't ever dug that deep. It was deep over there though. Yeah. I think that was that original valley, kind of right there, and then they dug all this out. Okay. I was thinking, oh, you had a big low area up here. Yeah, that little pig pen area. I don't know if we could make a little more pins out and back up and just dump it all right there. Then once it's dried, you can kind of just fill that in. I think we have about 20 loads. So. Yeah. That, pretty much the cattails, and then stop about where those trees are. Those little ones. Maybe get a couple of those little ones. But All right. Other than that, it'll leave a little shallow shelf right there just in case you do. Get some animals or something. They can walk down there and not uh, instantly be in three feet of water. Yeah, have some good footing. <laughs> well, Chris, we got you another project. They, just, they never end, do they? Never ending. So we're gonna dredge this area now. I mean, well, why stop now? <laughs> yeah, why stop? I mean, then you'll tell me to dredge the whole lake while we're at it, like everybody else has said. Yeah, that's a bit more than... That's a big project. Yes. The thing is with that, all that's gonna be like six feet underwater at the shallowest. Yeah. So this is gonna be like two, so. And it's just sand mostly. It does make more sense to go ahead and clean this out. Yeah. Well, that'll be fun. More mud. More mud. Hey, we get to wash the machine again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll start on that next week, I guess. Uh, I really want to take the big one out there, but I really don't want to get it all muddy. Maybe I'll take this one out here and get the mud to the bank and then load. <laughs> yeah. What do, what do they? What do you ever? What do you say? You never take the big machine in the. You never in first? take the biggest machine into the worst spot. <laughs> yep. It feels like a good spot, but there might be a bad spot in there. But that machine weighs almost twice as much as this one, so. Yeah. It might, it, it'll turn a good spot soft. Oh, that's funny. All right, I'm going to go spread that out and dress things up and roll out. All right. Well, that's uh makes for a whole day, right? We're yeah. all done here. Be back. I still got to dress all that up. But yeah. I'll do that at the very end. Put a grain bucket on and pack those slopes in and clean all that up. All right. Sounds good. Nice. All righty. Take care.